The iPad Control Center is a feature of the iPad that lets you quickly adjust your iPad settings and media. Let's take a look at how it works. Swipe up from the bottom of your screen to access the Control Center. The Control Center is organized into separate pages. On the first page of the Control Center, you will find a set of icons. The first icon listed within the set is Airplane Mode. Airplane Mode will reduce distractions and simultaneously disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Airplane Mode will turn yellow to indicate the feature is enabled. To access Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi icon must be set to blue. This will allow your device to update your email and allow you to complete web searches and more. The third icon listed enables the Bluetooth feature. When this feature is enabled, the icon will display blue. Bluetooth will allow you to connect to other Bluetooth products like keyboards and speakers if you have that equipment on hand. The fourth icon listed in the set is the Do Not Disturb icon. When enabled, this icon will display purple. With the Do Not Disturb feature on, you can silence calls, alerts, and notifications that you get while your device is locked. The fifth icon listed is your mute option and will display red when enabled. This will mute alerts and notifications but still allow you to hear sound on videos and games on your iPad. The last icon listed is the screen orientation lock and will display red when enabled. This will give you the ability to select a particular screen orientation and lock it to landscape or portrait mode. Within your control center, you can also control the screen brightness by moving the slider left for dark or right for bright. AirPlay will allow you to connect to Mirror 360 to display your iPad in the classroom. You also have quick access to a timer and your iPad camera from the first page of the control center. Swipe left to access the second page of the control center. The second page allows you to access and control music stored on your iPad or adjust the volume on your device. When you have finished viewing items in the control center from either page, swipe down to close the control center.